Welcome everybody to another video on rare world coins. Uh, as you uh, search through collecting coins all over the world, you know, there are beautiful coins from all these different countries, okay? And you can specialize in specific countries that you like their designs, you like uh, the value of their coins, uh, because you, you know, vacation there, you live there, you want to collect coins in the local countries nearby. And those are the things that you can do. And normally, uh, pocket change is not very collectible unless it's a coin that you find that is really scarce, that somehow the coin was not released or got melted or they're error coins. Uh, these are all modern stuff coins. Uh, also, be careful on uh, purchasing promoted coins because la many of the promoted coins, the prices are pretty much inflated. Okay, this benefits the seller. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you as the collector will end up paying too much. And then when it's time to sell, you're not able to get your money out of the coin. Okay, so avoid promotional coins. Uh, if you are gonna get promotional coins, you know, buy them as cheap as possible. Uh, again, research, research, research to verify those promotional coins are worth the money that you're spending. Um, that's why if you're new to collecting, the first thing I would suggest to you is uh, go get yourself uh, some uh, materials such as a uh, coin catalog of the coins that you want to purchase, okay? Uh, you can purchase these, these catalogs from the internet. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that, out there for your reference. You can go to the library and pick up some catalogs. Uh, you can Google the information. Uh, you can go to the site as PCGS and GC, and they have price guides there for these coins and even samples that you can look at and figure out what the current market value is. Uh, if you do get catalogs, uh, be... Uh, you know, catalog prices are usually not updated on a regular basis. So some of these prices are, could be five, 10 years old. And, you know, and sometimes the editors, uh, the publishers are not able to update current market values of these coins. So if you're trying to buy the, the prices, what's listed on the catalog, most likely that's not gonna happen because coins do appreciate pretty frequently, especially the rare ones and the ones that are in demand. So even uh, the Krauss catalog that, that uh, collectors use to collect world coins or US coins, they are not updated on a regular basis. It could be two, three, four, five years old. Okay, so if you wanna get the latest catalog uh, or the latest prices, uh, you would have to look at auction sites, Google, NGC, PCGS, right? Uh, those are, you know, uh, where you can get the latest updates as far as price-wise. Like I said, the catalogs, sometimes it takes them time to update prices and accumulate that data uh, to show what these coins sold for. Uh, what I'm gonna do to, today is to go through a few coins here. Uh, these are just regular world coins, and I'll go through a few of them. These are very nice uh, certified coins. Um, and this is the first one, which is a very popular from Brazil. Uh, this is uh, PCGS graded 64, very high grade. Uh, 40th anniversary uh, of the discovery of Brazil. Uh, this is a very popular coin. Uh, so basically a nice design, 
very nice strike. It has the slightest toning on it. Okay, a very popular coin. Uh, these coins here uh, come in a, basically a set. This is a one-year type, a little mintage, maybe about 20,000 coins minted. But of that 20,000, uh, very few you will see in this high grade. Heavily collected, so you will not see this coin on the market that often. High grade PCGS. And so this is a very nice uh, 1,000 Reese coin. It's a good size coin, about the size of a 50 cent piece. On the reverse, there you have the denomination, 1,000 Reese, and good design with the wreath. It's got a date, 1500 to 1900. It's a commemorative coin, very low mintage, very highly in demand, a very nice coin. Uh, so if you are in Brazil, and if you're trying to locate this coin, this coin would be very difficult to locate. Uh, this is something that you would have to search for, and it's going to be, you know, probably costly because a lot of the, even the, a lot of the collectors in Brazil uh, probably has a hard time in locating this particular coin in this particular grade. And this one here is very nice. And it is certified by PCGS. Gorgeous coin. Very nice detail. Uh, note that uh, these coins are heavily counterfeited. So uh, be sure you are getting a true coin because some of these coins are counterfeited and sold as souvenirs. So don't get, you know, tricked in buying a coin. They are on the internet being sold, so be careful you do not get caught buying a copy. Uh, a real one will show you nice detail, nice luster, okay, and very nice design, okay? That's one coin. This is from Brazil. The next coin here is from Norway. 1914 Nor Norway certified NGC 64 is the Constitution Centennial. It is a beautiful, simple commemorative with a person just standing overlooking a view or a lake. Very, very simple, but very nice. This one has very nice full luster. Gorgeous coin. Just uh, very difficult to find because since you have this very wide field, that's the area where you will see numerous bag marks. And that would be, you know, these coins will be very unappealing because of those heavy bag marks. This one here is very nice, lustrous, exceptionally clean of any marks. Just slight edge toning on the coin. Sharp hands, sharp gown, very nice sharp hair, nice head, full head. Those are the things that you would look at on a coin to ensure that it is uncirculated. These are the high points of the coin. The sleeves, the head, the hair, okay? All those high points, you wanna be sure that they are still intact. On the reverse, is Norway's shield with the lion and the crown. It says commemorative from 1814-1914. Uh, two kroner. It says Nord for, Nor for Norway. So beautiful coin with the trees. Again, the fields are exceptionally nice. This coin here, in my opinion, is undergraded. They graded 64. And to me, this is definitely a nice 65. But then again, you know, uh, grading is basically an opinion-based issue pertaining to you and anybody else, okay? I can grade it 64. Somebody can grade it 65. Somebody can grade it 63, okay? So it's just based on your opinion. If it's certified, at least you have a third party that is putting their input as far as the coin 
okay? Normally, when you get these certified coins, normally, but not always, that a few people will grade the coins, and then normally they would average it out, and then that is what you will get as far as grade. But if there's only a, one individual doing the grading, then basically it's a one opinion coin graded, and sometimes they could undergrade it, overgrade it. So that happens, okay? Shortage of people, so you can't do an opinion graded. It's only a one person grading the coin. And based on that, it could be, like I said, that what their specific opinion, and it could be high, it could be low. But overall, a very nice coin. And this is from Norway, okay? I'll put that here. I'll put this one here. Uh, next one we have is from Belgian Congo. Very nice coin. This is dated 1897. It's the one franc Belgian Congo. It is graded basically by NNC, MS66, very high grade. Now, as I mentioned before, NNC is not really a reliable grading company. Uh, they tend to overgrade coins, but in this particular case, the coin is very nice. Uh, as far as 66, maybe it's a 65. It is a gorgeous, has everything, beautiful hairlines. The beard is sharp, nice eyebrows, nice ears, exceptionally clean of contacts. So very nice. It is a high grade coin. Now, when you buy these coins in uh, in, in a uh, sealed capsule like NNC, like I said, buy the coin and not the capsule. Buy the coin. So this one here is an exceptional coin. It's a rare coin in this high grade, always in demand. And so this is the one franc. There is the one franc, the two franc, and the five franc. Of, of this, the rarest, of course, is the big five franc. But you can get the whole type set, but this will cost you some money. This particular coin in this grade is around $500. Okay, very nice coin. On the reverse is the Belgium Congo Shield. One franc, the wreath, the lion, the crown, all very nice, sharply struck, beautiful coin. And again, I consider this coin to be raw because the third party, third party grading company is not really a reliable source in my opinion. They tend to overgrade coin, but this one here seems to be pretty nice. Beautiful coin. And you can add this particular coin to your collection. Another coin we have is from Fiji Island. Fiji, very popular British coin. Uh, this is the one shilling, uh, 1941. It's graded AU58 by NGC, so it is almost uncirculated. It has very nice luster. Just the slightest rub on the cheekbones on the coin. So that is why it's an AU coin, but it's very nice, very close to uncirculated. This one here has a very low mintage and widely circulated and melted. So this one here is a very scarce coin, extremely rare in MS65, but in this grade, it's a very scarce coin. This one here will run you maybe about $150. Uh, in this particular grade, but if it was 65 or better, then we're talking at least $500 for the coin. Very nice coin, low mintage, a nice addition to your collection. Last one we have is from South Rhodesia. It's a half crown, graded NGC 63. 
very nice coin. It is an uncirculated coin. Very, it's a one year type coin. When I say one year type, the, that means it was only minted for one year. Okay. And this one here had a mintage of over a million coins, but these coins were heavily circulated. Now this is copper nickel, not silver. So this one here, what it is, it's just widely circulated and finding one in very nice condition is pretty scarce. Now this is also a key date being a one year type coin. So you look at the coins in 1954, very nice, sharply struck, full luster, all the detail is there. The crowned high points are there. And so very collectible being a one year type. So if you're collecting South Rhodesia, this is one of the coins you would probably collect. In uncirculated condition, that's not certified. This will run 50 to $60. But when you get to Emma 60 to 65, this could run up to five or $600 in Emma 65. Very nice, very scarce coin. But I, as you get into the night to MS 65 or better, then it becomes extremely rare and only a few graded that high. Beautiful coin. You can add this type to your collection if you like to collect South Rhodesia. And of course, South Rhodesia was a British Commonwealth. So that's why you see Queen Elizabeth there. Okay. And of course you want to get them with the least amount of bag marks on the field. And of course, if this was all brilliant, with no bag marks, no dis uh, detraction, distraction, definitely you would have a nice premium coin. So very few in MS-65, a 63 is an exceptional graded coin. So there you have, you have a few nice coins that you can add to your collection. And if this is something that you like, definitely you can collect these coins and you will not go wrong as far as collecting these types of coin. But you wanna be sure you are collecting these in very high grade. So, be picky in what you collect. Be careful in what you spend. Uh, if you're not sure on the grading, get a second opinion. Uh, if you buy certified coins, then you have no problem. But if it's raw coins without it being certified, uh, be sure you know how to grade coins and uh, this will help you out. Look at examples on the internet on grading, uh, the various uh, levels of grading from very good to uncirculated, and de determine the types of wear that you will see for those particular coins. Uh, hopefully the information I provided uh, is useful. If you like what you see, uh, by all means, uh, give me a comment, thumbs up, and if uh, you wanna see some more, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time.